There's that go live button. All right, hey hacksters, uh, welcome to the show. Today I want to share with you some teeny tiny PCBs that I picked up, uh, mostly from Drew Stini, actually from Mosh Park, um, over the course of recent events, including Teardown Conference in Portland, uh, run by Crowd Supply, as well as Maker Fair in uh, the Bay Area. And uh, so we see a lot of like giant PCBs around, right? There are some cool huge ones like this uh, Fenderino and the huge 555 timer circuit that I soldered together last week. Oh, if you didn't see that, you should totally check it out because it's so cool. This is from Evil Mad Scientist Labs and it's a, a 555 timer that you solder together yourself out of resistors and transistors. It's so cool! But what I want to talk to you about is teeny tiny PCBs. Um, yeah, uh, so let's just jump in. First off, I've got one from Black Mesa Labs, and I actually had another one of theirs, but I lost it because it was so small! Um, uh, this one is for testing drill gauges. It tells you like what sizes these holes are so that you can reference them when you're building your own PCB. Uh, I want to show you this one on the internet. It's on um, Oshpark, of course. As you can tell by the color scheme, um, yeah. So it's a two layer board. It is printed at half height and we'll get into that in a minute. And it's meant as a keychain fob. They have another one that I, again, like I lost this one and it makes me so mad because it's so cool. It's got like a little uh, place for your name on it and silk screen. It's got uh, some of the solder mask removed so that you can just see or omitted so that you can see the bare FR4 PCB substrate underneath there. It's so cool. Uh, this thing has two different dimensions on it. Uh, 0.25 millimeters, so a quarter of a millimeter uh, on one side, and then also increments of 0.025 inches, which is 25 mils. Uh, if you're not familiar with that unit, it's a thousandth of an, uh, a, a mil is a thousandth of an inch. Uh, and it's used in PCB design, for example, when you're deciding how wide to make your traces. Uh, yeah. And those are essential measurements depending on, you know, how uh, big you want or like what, what um, manufacturer you're using. They will have their own requirements and stuff as well as just like seeing what these units look like in real life. It's really cool. Um, obviously anything smaller than 25 mil is not going to really resolve very well uh, to your eyes or on the PCB. So. Uh, Black Mesa Labs have a site, uh, blackmesalabs.wordpress.com, and I also found some other cool things on their site, including these breakout boards that are really pretty for taking little surface mount chips and breaking them out into uh, the 0 .050 uh, 50 mil grid of uh, like a proto board or whatever. Um, so you can solder down to this and then attach this to your other PCB or a proto board or anything. Super cool. Um, next up, I have the Tomu. I did an in intro to using this board recently. Tomu.im is their website. Uh, and this is just a teeny tiny little board that plugs into your USB uh, port. And it's got a couple of LEDs on here, a little red and green LED. Uh, and if you connect these two contacts, it uh, basically puts it back into bootloader mode so that no matter what code is loaded on here, you can physically uh, short that and make it so that it uh, it will listen to your reprogramming. Uh, and this is again an, another little half height board. Super pretty. Um, and it just like hides out inside of your USB port. It's barely visible. They also have an injection molded uh, case that you can snap it into that'll kind of protect it a little bit better and maybe uh, hold it in there a little better. But I don't think you actually need this though. Uh, and that's good because uh, the dude who made this, I think his name is Tim, just uh, threw like a bunch of these at me as well at, uh, at uh, Teardown. So I'm really excited to get to use those for some stuff. Uh, yeah, again, that's Tomu and it's at tomu.im. Um, uh, and then also I have a an intro to it embedded in this other tutorial that uses the Tomu with the optic spy device to send little hidden messages with optical flashes of LED light. Uh, and you can, uh, the, the first part of this teaches you how to use the Tomu itself. You can also just go to some of the links there if you want a direct, more in-depth example of how to set it up. Next up, we have some really cool little art. 
uh, PCBs. So these are made by Radomir, I forget his last name, I should know, uh, but he lives in Switzerland. And check these out, they're so gorgeous and cool! I love these! <gasps> Obviously this is Nyankat, and I'll show you that one in a second. Um, you have this little hookup for a wires going to it. And then what do we have here again? We got a JTAG connector over here. We've got clock and ground and a little hard to read these guys, but yeah, uh, 100 ohm resistor there, looks like. And yeah, um, then this one is just solely an art pin, but he does have other ones that actually do stuff. Nonetheless, uh, this one particularly has this little spot where you can solder the back of a lapel pin, and then you can wear your little circuit python mascot Blinka uh, from Adafruit on your lapel. So cute. I'm really glad that I didn't lose these ones, but I'm always sad when I lose something. So the Blinka pin is here on Oshpark as well, as is the Nyan board T10. <laughs> uh, it uses an at tiny 10, uh, which is a really low power board. And there's a video demo on YouTube. This obviously isn't gonna have sound right now, but if you look up Nyan board on at tiny 10, then you will find it. It's actually playing the Nyan Cat theme song right now on a little piezo speaker. I love it. <laughs> it's so cool. Do they zoom out? Oh yeah, here we go. There's a piezo speaker soldered to the back of it. Really neat. And a little tiny six pin at tiny 10 chip. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I get really into this stuff. And what's next? Next up, oh yeah, we have actual tiny circuits. So speaking of tiny PCBs, uh, these ones actually have the name tiny circuits. This is an Arduino. This is, um, I forget which one it's similar to. I think it's equivalent to an Arduino Leonardo. Could be wrong there. And it has all these little broken out pins. I talk about this one a lot because I really love it for wearables. It's sewable, washable. You can, I mean, as long as you remove the battery and stuff, you can sew this into whatever. But I also like making little jewelry things with it. If you want to make something that you can wear really easily as an earring or whatever, but you don't want to spend a lot of space or weight on this is perfect for that. And then the programming is sort of detached. You get this kind of enterprise spaceship kind of Starship Enterprise, pardon me, <laughs> kind of attachment going on here with the little disc and the little programmer, which I've bent up over the years. Uh, micro USB over here. And again, these are half height PCBs, so they're very sort of thin and light. Again, I wanted to show you uh, what the difference is between a half height and regular height PCB. So uh, on the left here, I have the new half height version of my Charmware PCBs. There's a lot still to do on this before I'm ready to really start pushing them. Um, a few more iterations are going to be necessary, but uh, you can see how they compare. The other thing about Oshpark is that if you order the half height ones, this one on the left, then it also comes with double the amount of copper, double the thickness, which could be interesting in your design, could not be, I don't know. It, they also seem a little shinier, and the other ones are a little matte, uh, and that may be manufacturer dependent, I'm imagining. But um, yeah, half height PCBs are a great way to get less weight and less thickness, less bulk overall, really nice. And if you order these in a large quantity, you can get the edges rounded all nice and smooth, uh, one more example from Oshpark. This is a breakout board from Drew, uh, aka PDP7 on Twitter and stuff, or on GitHub especially, as you see here. So it's a breakout for a rotary encoder. A lot of the tiny PCBs that you will see are breakouts for specific components and stuff that make it easier to put them together. And this is no exception. Super cool. So these are some of my favorite little tiny PCBs. Tiny Circuits has a bunch of other stuff that you can get that's pretty small. Uh, they've got, you know, I've got a whole collection of their little sort of snap together modules that run motors and like have little teeny tiny LEDs, even smaller than the ones you can get from Adafruit. You can get sewable LEDs from Adafruit that are super tiny and come with a resistor attached, so they don't have to worry about soldering that. But, um, you can also get even smaller ones from tinycircuits.com. Let's go there real quick. 
they have a tiny arcade as well. Look at this thing. <laughs> and also a teeny tiny pocket Game Boy on a, a um, keychain. It's incredible. Let's see. Do they have it on here? Tiny lightsaber. <laughs> tiny GPS tracker. These things are mega small. Wait, micros? I, um, anyway, they're small. <laughs> and they live up to their name. Super cool. And finally, uh, yeah, if you wanted to, ooh, dear, <laughs> to look up the Charmware stuff and follow that project that's on Hackster as well. So yeah, um, one more quick lightning round through these guys, in case you just tuned in. We've got the B Black Mesa drill gauge PCB that's like also a key fob. We've got the Tomu at tomu.im, uh, which is a teeny tiny little USB device that you can program with whatever, including you can make this into a two-factor authentication device. Super cool. We've got these two from Deshipu, AKA Radomir, and he uh, has made these two little cute art guys. One of them does something uh, and is half height. One of them does nothing and is a lapel pen, but they are both super cool, Nyan Cat and the CircuitPython logo by Adafruit. Then we have Drew's little uh, rotary encoder breakout, we have tiny circuits, and we have the Charmware modules showing off the difference between half height and full height, just like these guys. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. Have an awesome rest of your day. Ciao!